Hello friends, today we are going to see how can we use Python to access all the functionalities of AppWrite database that is locally hosted in our portainer. Here you can see that our AppWrite database is hosted here and these are port numbers that are export from our AppWrite database. So uh, here is the Jupyter notebook that we are going to use to uh, AppWrite database and we are going to see how can we create new users how can we assign roles, how can uh, change different settings, then, uh, then we will see how can we make new databases, new collections and new documents, then we will also deploy some functions and uh, also we will use these storage buckets to upload files into it and delete files that are already located inside this storage bucket. So friends, let's get started. For installing this repository, what you have to do? is type what i am showing here in the terminal keep install git plus keep install install git plus and after that you have to copy this repository id from here and then going to st here and press enter then whenever you will press enter this will install from my fork repository so basically what we are going to use as our base project is located here inside this github repository that is under among juicy sadatrice username and that is playground for python also we are going to use this second one library this also that is among juicy sadatrice slash sdk for python so basically we are going to use code from these two libraries and going to implement all these functionalities using python so here is this our jupyter notebook what i have done is i have used this playground for python library and uh, here is uh, you can see that uh, there is a python file called playground.py really what it does it tests all the functionalities that can be accessed from python imported all the libraries so let's just run this first block here we go so now we are setting different arguments what we are going to do is we are going to copy this project id from here clicking here and going to paste it here so if you make your new project then you can uh, you would you would have to replace this project id under this argument client dot project okay then uh, you would also have to replace this client dot endpoint that is located over here you have to go in this settings and you will find api endpoint over here so you would have to copy it from here and then you would have to paste it here then what you will need is secret key of your database so you, where you can find is you would have to go over here api keys and you have to create new API key. Then you have to enter any name you, when you click this next button like and then click on next button. Here I am going to select all the code for the testing purpose and then I am going to click on create button. So now you can see I have created my secret key over here. So basically I can click on copy. Then you can copy and paste this secret key over here. What we are going to do? We are going to create four instances of different classes from our appropriate library. So firstly, we are going to create instance from databases, then storage, then functions, then users. After that, we are going to set all these things from our appropriate database. So basically, what we are going to do is firstly, there is database ID. So where is database ID is located is you can click on databases then you can create new database like here we can going to create test database so click on test okay here our test database is created then you can click here copy database id and you can paste it over here then what we are going to do is create new collection here let's click here click new collection we are going to type new collection click on create created new collection here and we we can copy this collection id from here then paste it here then we are going to do is create new document we have to create new id new attribute so attribute attribute type string size anything like four let's just say default value we don't need to set it required here you know so click on create here you can see we have created new attribute so then we can create 
new document and value of our new attribute we are going to this attribute attr1 okay so we have set character length to 4 so that's why we cannot type any further than four characters then we are going to create next then set permission then create okay so we have created new document here and we are going to copy this document id from here to our document id okay then then what we are going to do is go to auth then create new user fill out this all this form and here this user will appear and we are going to copy this user id from here to here then what we are going to do is we are going to go to storage and create new bucket then whenever the bucket is created here from here we can copy this bucket id and paste it here then what we are going to do go inside this bucket create file choose file create okay so here you can see our file is already here now as our file is already here we can copy our file id from here copy and paste file id here. then we can run this block okay. this block is running well so first of all what we are going to test is to create database here you can see here is already a data set Name database named movie so we are first uh, we are going to delete this uh, database and create new format so as you can already see there is no database that is named movies now we are going to run this and see if it appears okay so refresh yes here you can see movies is already there then what we are going to do is we are going to create a collection that is named movies so here you can see that there is no collection that is currently present now we are going to run this uh, create collection function and now you can see that this function is already here. now we are going to refresh this page. and uh, here you can see that movies collection is already appearing here now what we are going to do is list all these collections that are already available basically there is only one collection but uh, that will be available that is movies so <clears throat> here you can see one collections then here is a list of collection and now what we are going to do is click on get account so basically there is some issue with get account function so we are not going to uh, consider that right now there is some internal uh, work that uh, that is causing <coughs> that is causing some issue and uh, this uh, function is not running well so then what we are going to do is our next individual task that is add document add new document to our collection that is collection and movie so now we are going to run this add mm -hmm. document command and that is already done now we're going to refresh and here you can see spider-man is appearing in the movies collection then we are going to list all the documents here you can see total document one docs spider-man release here all these things are appearing fine then what we are going to do delete this document here we are refreshing document that is there delete First, documents gone deleted already so you can try all these different functions by yourself and uh, you can check out uh, this awesome library that is sdk for python and uh, playground for python so to conclude this video we can definitely run all these applied functionalities from python and uh, we can definitely access all the databases users and functions and storage all these things from python using this library